So, so I, I, I'm just imagining that, that SimLab has taken Matterport spaces that are of hotels and are of apartments or maybe homes, houses, maybe multifamily, and are doing uh, training for the AI to recognize refrigerators, stoves, beds, dressers, counters, lamps, uh, whatever the objects are in hotels, in houses, in apartments. And then when a Matterport customer comes to you and says, I, I don't really want to go tag hundreds or thousands of objects. Can you automate that process for me and just assign tags? You're smiling. Okay. Help me under because I, I'm smiling because it's a second type of the AI that we are working on. That was supposed to be a I don't want to say big secret, but big surprise for the users, especially for the enterprise one, is that first. This first problem is to detect your object. So, okay, this is AC unit. This is like a washing machine and so on. But in the second one, which we are working on the second parallel works conducted in the, in the Simon feature is that you will be able to uh, circle the object inside of your space saying, oh, this is a thermostat or this is the lamp. Find me all of the other ones in the floor of the fifth floor for the hotel. So then you actually don't have to count that you have 100 you know, uh, lightings, uh, fixtures on the ceiling in that hotel. We will tag it for you automatically that this is that part number, SKU number for the product. And this is how you probably imagine that you, know, uh, you have 100 lamps that you need to service in the one time uh, in that particular moment of, of, uh, uh, of the next year. Okay, so phase one, phase two. Phase one, today is Thursday, March 16th, 2023. When will we see the ability to have the SimLab AI go discover objects and tag them? Well, this is not a trivial job, so it's coming by the end of the year. So we are working on this very, very deeply, but those algorithms are quite complex development process. So I think it's going to take us a couple of next months and we are aiming before the end of the year to release it in the first stage, at least to recognize the objects and then first attempts to identify any other similar one to the one that I have just marked. So in phase two, uh, where I circle an object and say, you know, go, go find me all the the thousands of ceiling tiles and uh, light fixtures in, in my five-story hotel, uh, how long will, uh, when will that feature be available? I would love to say by the end of the year, but, uh, you know, this is development and this is AI. This is going to the completely new areas of the AI, uh, even on the toolkits that you have commercially available on the market. So uh, let's hope it's going to be like a uh, fall of the, you know, this year and the next one. But we are aiming to have the first results that we can release as the alpha by the end of the year. Okay. Now I know that founders and CEOs are always extremely optimistic. I'm going to look to Mikau because you're actually the uh, uh, Simon product owner. And I, uh, ne never mind Merrick. What's the timing? When, when is it really going to happen? Yeah, I need to. I need to agree with with Marek. Um, uh, that's that goes uh, till end of the year for sure. Okay, so we we have product in uh, in agreement. Yeah, right now we have the libraries ready. Now it's the time for the machine learning and and making the all magic possible to to get the uh, algorithms ready and 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 ready to to launch for the customers. Okay.